Well, hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, Homestead in the Desert. And again, we're starting off in front of the seed giveaway rules for all the newcomers. Everybody else already has seen these for three days in a row. Today is the fourth day of the seed giveaway. And uh, yeah, we're well over 250 or so, 270 so uh, entries already. But uh, get your entries in because it's a randomized randomizing software and the list um, has nothing to do with when you did it, how you did it or whatever. The list just randomly selects something out of the list and that's it. And we'll be doing that uh, on video on Sunday. Um, the, uh, let's see, we end on the 19th, so I'll be on the 20th, it would be the drawing. So make sure you get your orders in. Now, um, yesterday I had one individual tell me they uh, they just copied the information from somebody else. And uh, that was a mistake because uh, what I did was I gave the three extra um, entries to the person he copied them from because he happened to set, mention who that was. So that person got three extra entries yesterday because somebody was too lazy to watch the video. This is, that's what this whole thing is about. I'm not doing this just because I feel like giving somebody seeds. I'm doing this to increase viewership and uh, view time and things like that on my channel. So please don't try to cheat me. Thank you. Anyway, let's get past that. And uh, I guess I've held it in front of here long enough. Now remember... The seed packet location when you're when you're doing uh, uh, the, where the location of them is, it will have this metal clip on it, okay. And then I'll move it from that location when nobody's looking, and you'll see it in another location. And uh, in the other location, it'll show you the uh, type of seeds they are, and you mention that, and that's your third entry. So your first entry is by saying I'm in and what naming what state you're from. Second entry is spotting the seed, pa seed package somewhere uh, outside the garden house or greenhouse or someplace it doesn't belong. And then uh, the third entry will be by stating what type of seeds they were. Okay, so you can get up to three entries a day or uh, you can get six entries a day if uh, uh somebody cheats and copies off of you all right everybody let's move on we're gonna head on outside so my day today was pretty much uh, uh spent driving and we'll get to that in a minute because uh i want to head down here and we're going to talk about the uh, chicken door opener closer and i was concerned yesterday that uh, i thought there might be something wrong and i thought it wasn't going to work I came out about a uh, quarter after five last night or yesterday evening and uh, sure enough the door was closed so it worked just fine and uh, I did check earlier oh look at this something is digging underneath my coop here so let's collapse that there we go Ooh. Something didn't like that. Anyway, um, something I did find out about it was on the front right side, right right after the word eco on the front of it, it says that there's a little light there. And if we go to the other end, you might be able to see it flash. And when it flashes once every um, 30 seconds, that means it's operating properly and the door is open. And then when it flashes uh, twice every 30 seconds, that means the door is closed and it's operating properly. Uh, if it's every 10 seconds, then uh, you need to replace the batteries. So it's got little quirks like that on it. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see the light flash from here. Oh, I just saw it. Yeah, it, do it does flash. So it'd be another 30 seconds before it flashes again. Well, here are all the kids. They're having fun. I just gave them their treats, and uh, they're all happy with that. Um, and I, I collected the eggs. 
um, down to three eggs again uh, per day. So one of the one of the hens is not laying. I think it's lazy Nelly, but uh, on average you should get a, each hen should lay an egg every 15 hours. So uh, that's fine. It, I'm getting three a day. I only eat two a day, so I'm adding one and adding one. And every day I add an extra one. Sometimes I get four and I add extra two. So I'll be uh, water glassing some of those pretty soon here and uh, see if I can't get them to last through the winter. But uh, for right now, I'm getting eggs uh, on a regular basis, so I really don't need to store any. But uh, you never know. It just might come down to uh, a lot of really cold days and the hens quit laying. And then what am I going to do? So anyway, I wanted to cover that. Hey kids, what are you doing? Yeah. So I might have to order another one of those for this uh, segregation coop I got here. So when I have to uh, segregate any of the hens, and uh, one of my hens has been getting a little broody. So she, uh, she sometimes spends uh, half a day sitting on eggs in there, but then finally gets up and moves out to come and get food when I bring the snacks. So. That means that maybe in the springtime, uh, she might uh, be old enough and then spend a little more time and hatch a couple of eggs for me. Other than that, the company I bought this uh, door opener and closer, they sell all size of different brooders. Um, I'm thinking about getting one, uh, maybe a, a 12 egg brooder, and uh, see if I can't uh, um, add some hens to my collection here. Because you want to keep... Uh, um, repopulating your, uh, your hen house because they'll uh, get old and quit laying and then they end up uh, feeding you in a different way. So anyway, what I did today was uh, I had to get up and my neighbor came down at about nine this morning and uh, we left here with my trailer and went and picked up some totes. And yeah, got three more totes, he got three more totes. So we picked up six of these. And on my trailer over there, I have uh, I added three 10 foot two by fours on there, so I can actually hold three across, or three the length of the trailer, and then three on top, so I can carry six. And I'm still only 13 feet tall, so I'm uh, I'm legal on the freeway. So that was a a plus. And these are a little cleaner than the last ones. Um, the one in the middle is a little on the dirty side, but the two on the ends here are pretty clean. So I'm gonna get those cleaned up ASAP. Uh, today would have been a nice day. It was in the se low 70s today. And uh, just a beautiful day. And uh, well, I got things to do, right? All right, so anyway, uh, as we were driving around, oops, what was that? I almost dropped something, or did I? Maybe I did drop something. Sometimes I drop stuff. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, while we were driving and stuff, that was a, we were talking about different things and laughing and joking and having a good time. So having somebody help me with those, because uh, it is like an hour and 40 minute ride in each direction. And then of course the time for loading. And then we uh, stood around and talked with Don for a little while and, uh, and we said, uh, yeah, hey, uh, pretty uh, pretty cool. Th thanks for this. And he was telling me I might have some more for me pretty soon. So that would be nice. That would be a great thing. And um, I'll go down and pick them up because I'll take all I can get. I can store up rainwater in the winter. So anyway, that's what we did. And... Uh, that makes it the end of another day. I'm going to go inside and start my dinner and sit back and relax. And I wish I'd have got a chance for a nap today, but nope, no chance on that. Too busy, had things to do. And I got to get some things transplanted in that uh, greenhouse. I got to get the um, avocado tree put into a larger pot because I'm sure that it's... Uh, it doesn't have any root room left in there anymore. 
and I want it to grow up and be a big one. So I'm going to get a, a 20 gallon um, pot and get it transferred into a 20 gallon pot. And we'll see how that goes. Everything is doing good in there. Everybody's uh, happy. Oh, one last thing before I shut off. Um, got a few people wanting me to keep track of Tomcat and what's going on with Tomcat. Well, I've noticed that he's been venturing out a little further at night. And I'll show you how I know that. We'll get around the corner here. And... He's been coming down here and using a litter box. So, yeah, he's, he's gotten all the way out here now. He was staying basically just along the side of the container, but now he's venturing out at night. So that's good. Hope he sees a few mice and gets a hold of them because uh, the mice and ground squirrels are a plenty. There's loads of them out there. And uh, we need to control them. All right, everybody. That's all I have for today. This is G-Bear reminding you, you got to be a subscriber. So don't forget to subscribe down there. You can't get into the uh, uh, seed giveaway contest. And this is the, f the second and final seed giveaway. So make sure you get in there because there's not going to be another one. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.